it goes all the way back to the Egyptians and the Mayans, the Incas. Um, there's a lot of evidence that there was um, society on this planet prior to our written history, prior to what we know, um, probably you know as old as 10 to 12,000 years ago um, and that would have been the end of their cycle um, that was very advanced and that knew of that energy and that knew how to use it and there's evidence of their passage and this evidence is very very uh, prominent meaning we're talking not just legends and text but as well huge construction, huge buildings that are found all around the world that many of them define, defy anything we could build today with our most advanced technology. And that's like straight up facts, you know, you can do the math. And when, uh, and, and so there's a lot of evidence that there was something very powerful, uh, and very advanced uh, going on on our planet. Um, very very long time ago and that we lost that knowledge and we're supposed to believe that stone age people using fiber ropes and stone tools did this who are they kidding themselves Okay, this is a three-quarter inch copper tube, four feet long, with a half inch steel ball bearing stuck to the outside. Inside the tube is a one half inch diameter powerful neodymium magnet holding the ball bearing fast. It takes eight seconds to fall straight down. Three, two, one, dropping. By contrast, here is a vertical fall with just the steel ball bearing through the tube. Three, two, one, release. Anti-gravity machine. And look, it's not attracted. It's just weird stuff, eddy currents. could do this all day, it's so cool. All right, see? Neodymium magnet, copper pipe, thick wall, type K. Special effects, but not special effects. This is actually happening.